Hi everyone, good morning. I feel like lately we've been starting off the vlogs in the car because we got a lot going on and I feel like I have so much to say right now. So maybe grab a coffee, grab a snack because we need to catch up a little bit. So first of all, my kids are sick again. I don't know what is going on. I feel like we don't even go very many places and somehow every single time we step foot out of the house, we get sick the entire month of March. We have been sick. It has been ridiculous and the camera's about to die. Oh my gosh, I just brought this to Target because I'm getting the girls some Easter basket stuff. So maybe we'll have to have this conversation later about what is going on and everything that I have to talk and rant about. So we're just gonna stick with it with, we're going into Target right now to get the girls Easter basket stuff and I'll explain more later because the camera's gonna die now. God. Well, that was very unfortunate circumstances with taking the camera to Target and then the battery was dying. So I'm home. It's actually been a little bit now and I want to show you guys what I got because I'm really excited. Before I show you, we haven't really talked about this, but a week from today, we will be on the road, road tripping to Tennessee. And we're really nervous because we haven't taken a road trip before with all three of the kids. The last time we did a road trip was when Ella and Avery were very small. Avery was like six months old. Ella was like just over two. So it's been a very long time and we are very nervous but excited for it anyway. So I needed to grab some things from Target for the road trip as well to make things go smoother. I had this idea of getting really small gifts not gifts but like toys that they can play with and kind of switch out if they get grumpy and tired of whatever they have going on kind of like an emergency thing like hey here's another toy like and then we'll just kind of rotate them in and out also Avery put chapstick all over this door as you can see so um, it's hard to see through it hi Abby hi what are you eating a quesadilla hey You're such a stinker. I got all of the girls Easter basket stuff. And the reason why I went ahead and got all of the Easter basket stuff ahead of time, which one, I do want to be ahead of time, but two, we won't be back in time to get stuff for Easter. So I needed to get it done this week today to just get it out of the way and get it all finished. I don't have to stress about that. This is all of the stuff that I got. It looks kind of chaotic, but I left it out. I showed Ben. I did like a whole haul for him, but I left it out because I wanted to show you guys as well. So this stuff over here, I just bought because we needed it. These are the glow in the dark passies. I've been looking for these and they were at Target. So I was like, I got two of these. I got this transitional bottle for Addie. And then we also needed more sippy cups for the girls, they were getting really gross. So I got these right here. This is the mascara that I have on right now. And the mascara that I love, I love that they have a dark brown color. I think it matches really well with my hair color, my skin. And then this is the foundation that I use. And then I got these for our road trip. Ella wants Sour Patch Kids and Ben's, one of Ben's favorite candies is Sour Patch Kids. So I got these. And then these are for me. These are the best ever. I just got these. I think I talked about them the other day, but I got the creamy kind. No, you need the milk chocolate kind. So I went back and got some of those. And then that's just besides the Easter basket. That's not a part of the Easter basket at all. So for each kid, I got this egg dyeing kit. So this won't go in their Easter basket, but I don't know when we're gonna have time to do this, but we're gonna have to do this outside of the Easter basket or maybe we can even do it on Easter, I don't know. So each kid has the same grass. They all have this pink grass. They all have a chocolate bunny. They all have this cotton candy and they all have a Pez candy. Here's Avi's Pez and then Addie's Pez. Ella got a smaller pack of these Sour Patch Bunnies, some gum and a bath bomb. So that is her entire Easter basket right here. And then Avery again got gum and then she doesn't really like chocolate or candy so I got her some more gum and then she has her bath bomb so this is her entire Easter basket here and then Addie her chocolate bunny her Pez her cotton candy and then I got her some bubbles April is going to be a very chaotic month we have a lot going on in April we're going to Tennessee for the first week of April and then we're going on a trip for Ella's birthday I needed to get out the summer clothes because these places that we're going are a lot warmer so here's all of I think that's all, yeah, Addy stuff over there, some 12 month summer and then some 3T summer for Ave. Okay, so moving on to this road trip. This is not a small road trip. Like we will be driving probably with stops and everything about 17 hours. 17 hours 
with a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. I've been very nervous this entire time to do it, and I've been pretty hesitant on doing it, but now that I've kind of gotten these things for entertainment along the way, I'm a little bit more excited, and I think that it's going to be fine. We are going to be road tripping for Ella's birthday as well, and that is even further away. So that this is kind of like a trial run for our big, big road trip coming up for her birthday. I'm just putting all of their Easter basket stuff in separate bags so that when we get back, it's really easy to put together. My kids are not huge candy kids, so that's why there's... I mean, there is a bunch of candy in here, but they're, they probably won't eat all of it, to be honest. And then we have way too many stuffed animals, so I'm not getting stuffed animals for them. The idea for the road trip was that, like I said, every now and then I'd be able to hand them back something that was small. So when I went to Target, I was looking for small, cheap, things that would keep them entertained if they were getting kind of cranky and keeping Addy in mind was really hard like the girls the older girls are pretty easy to shop for and to get stuff to entertain Addy is really hard because she's one she doesn't necessarily love watching movies she will not play games on an iPad and she pretty much throws everything out of her car seat that she is playing with so it's hard to keep her attention and I feel like I did a pretty good job at finding things that she would be interested in so the first thing that I found was in the Target dollar section and I got these slinkies I think they were like 50 cents to a dollar or something like that but I got one for Ella Ella will have the pink Avery likes orange so she has orange and then this one for Addie I don't care if these things get ruined they were like a dollar it will keep them busy and I think Addie would be pretty interested in how this works. She's never seen or played with a slinky before. So I think she'd be pretty interested and kind of curious about this. Same with these. These are poppets that I got. I think I'm going to give, I don't know which one I'm going to give, but I got two of this kind and one of this kind. And I think if Addie could figure this out that you press these in, and their little bubbles, she would love this and would be entertained for a really long time. So this is another thing that I'm gonna hand back and let them play with for a little bit and hopefully it'll keep them entertained. I saw these, they're like these little fidget noodle thingies and they're really squishy and you can pull them and all of that stuff. I thought of Addie when I saw this and I think that the girls would also like them too, my older girls, but this is mainly for Addie to hand her back maybe a few or I don't know, switch them out at some point. These next two things are strictly for Addie as well. I got this little chew toy. She's teething so bad. Top two and her bottom front two teeth. This, I've seen lots of great things about this that they can just hold on it and chew on it. So I got this for her and then I also got this baby for her. She loves babies and also loves stuffed animals. So when I saw this, it's like a stuffed soft plush baby. She's going to love this and I hope that it'll keep her entertained for hopefully a little bit during the trip. My kids are obsessed with Gabby Dollhouse. I saw this like hamster kitty set. If you watch Gabby Dollhouse then you know, but there's three of them in here. So I was like perfect i can hand one to each kid i saw these and i was like this is so perfect my kids have never seen or played with this this is this pin art i don't know but it's like where you can i don't know if you know you know i don't know what i'm trying to say but for them to play with this i think Addie, if i handed this back to her she'd be so amazed by how it feels and how it looks and how it sounds that it would keep her entertained for a while and like i said my girls have never played with something like this so they would be pretty excited about it as well. The last thing that I got for all of them, there's a few more things for just Ellen Avery. I got them all these Paw Patrol cars. I got probably, I'm gonna give Ellen Avery the same one and then give Addie this one. This is another thing that I can just hand back to them if things aren't going well and they'd be entertained for a little bit. Keep in mind, this road trip is literally 17 hours long. We will be on the road all day long. They will be in their car seats and in the car all day long. So I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They'll have like seven different small things to keep them entertained. So if we can go a few hours in between each one, that would be literally perfect. And we also have a 17 hour road trip home. So some of these might be saved for the road trip home as well. Um, I was walking in the like Barbie aisle and I saw these little like unicorn fairy dolls. They were $2.99 and I was like, they would love this. If I handed this back to them, they would play with these together. And I think that they're super cute. They would love that they're rainbow and unicorn a hit for sure. And then this one is honestly 
this thing and this next one are I think my favorite. I got a tiny little Etch-A-Sketch. Are you kidding me? These are so cute. They've never played with these before. So I think that it would be so fun for them to figure out how to do it and learn to twist them and make different things. And we can also take these to dinners or places that we want them to be entertained. These are so cute. They were a miniature size and like this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to unpackage all of these before we go on a road trip. I'm gonna put them in a basket or something that I can just quickly take out, rotate, you know what I'm saying. So that's what I got for the Easter stuff and for our road trip. I honestly am really excited. Um, after seeing all of this stuff and getting all this stuff, I'm really excited and I think that all of these will be a great surprise of stuff that is different, like different as in each thing is a different stimulation, like the poppets versus this thing versus the Etch-A-Sketch versus like a hamster kitty in a car and the slinky and the doll, like all of it is just kind of different instead of getting like multiple different stuffed animals or something, I don't know. <gasps> I'm sure we'll vlog the whole process of a 17 hour road trip with three children. Our Sunday's going pretty slow. This is what I was gonna talk about earlier when the camera was dying in the car. This is one thing that I was going to like update on and rant about, but all of our kids are sick again, <coughs> except for Addie, Ella and Evie are sick. <coughs> Literally the entire month of March, I feel like we've been sick. We went into the month of March. No, we've been sick since Addie's birthday party. Literally since Addie's birthday party. We were sick at the end of February and it just cycled around each one of our kids and then they had a lingering cough for a really long time. When we were up in Keystone, if you guys remember, Addie threw up on the way home and then when we got back, they all had coughs again and Ella had a double ear infection. Now we're like, no, it's the, the end of March. No, it was literally the first day of March we were in Keystone. So, and then that lingered for a little bit. I'm Ella is the one who is the one who like always is the first one to start it for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know, but we were fine and we literally have skipped all of their sports pretty much for the entire month until last week we went back for we the over. first time. Went back to swim and went back to dance. And on Friday, lo and behold, Ella has a fever on Friday night and has a cough and a runny nose. I'm like, oh my gosh, we literally had one normal week before we were sick again. And my kids don't really go anywhere. We stay home and play out outside we don't really go anywhere except for a dance and to swim and occasionally to the store but i feel like every time we step outside right now and go somewhere in public where other people are they get sick every single time so it's just frustrating that we're gonna have to skip swim and dance probably again this week with their fevers else had a fever today mm -hmm. and we we're gonna go to church this morning and we were gonna go to church this morning that didn't work out ella's been up multiple times at night because she's can't breathe she's uncomfortable has a fever and it's just one of those times where we're gonna have to get over this again and as i've been talking about in this video we are going on a trip a road trip here soon next week so i'd rather get sick now than then i know but i'm like now that it just needs to run through all three of them again and possibly it's, us it's already running through them which is nice i know avery woke like, up this morning with a cough. Two. ella's also just not been eating very well like yesterday she pretty much didn't eat one thing we offered her her um, favorite things i know yesterday we cooked one of our favorite meals for dinner but then offered her butter noodles because it's her favorite thing to eat. And she took like two bites of it before she said that she just wasn't feeling good, so. Is this normal? I posted about this on my Instagram story yesterday because I was so frustrated about it. But is it normal? Like, are y'all's kids getting sick right now, left and right? Like, every time you go out in public or see other people, are they getting sick? Or is it just my children? Because I know all of my friends that have kids here, are getting, their kids are also just rapidly getting sick every time. I also, I also think it has to do with the cold weather. Like every time we're getting together, people, it's like in close and closed spaces. Addie, how are you feeling? Do you feel sick? Say no. <laughs> Let me hold you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
we're gonna do a little car dinner where they picked all their favorite things and we're gonna go in the car and we're gonna eat dinner together because we haven't been outside or out of the house or well, they haven't been in a few days and I don't wanna go anywhere because I don't wanna get anybody else sick. So Ella picked out her dinner. I'm letting them have all of the freedom because they literally haven't eaten. She picked out some. Well, she, I mean, she ate her sandwich today. Oh yeah, she did eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She, and, but she did not want breakfast, right? And she pretty much didn't eat any meal yesterday. So she picked out some bagel bread. She loves to eat bagel bread. I never let her eat it, like just plain like this. So I think that this will be really good on her tummy just to have some bagels, um, grapes, goldfish, animal crackers, and fruit snacks is what she picked. And then of course, Avery wants her chicken nuggets as she always has, ketchup, animal crackers, granola bar, and oranges. How do you feel, baby? Do you feel okay? Yeah. Okay, you wanna fill up your own water? Okay. Tell me when this stops. Okay. Uh-oh, it's like and then she did like a whole burnout and I was like, what are you doing? He totally, if he would have lost control, he would have hit straight into the car. I know. That's why I was so mad and I was like, relax. Yeah. No, he- Gosh, no, like, I'm he so was, mad. He was flying around here. You're outie. Did My heart's like racing now. I was like scared. I was like scared that he was gonna hit you. Really? Yeah. When you came back, I knew exactly what was going. Oh. <laughs> what in the heck? They gave me a square. <laughs> what is that? When you came, when I came back, what? I like knew exactly why you did because you didn't have my smoothie in your hand and I was like, oh, he's coming back because this dude's, you know, going crazy. So yeah. you didn't hear me saying anything? Uh -huh. He didn't, he didn't acknowledge me at all, but his his head, or his whole head was red. Hey. I don't want that to- Oh my gosh, is this, the, is this the parking police? She should have been here five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so I packed up the girls' dinners. They are having a great time should back here. Move? Ella was so excited. No, it's fine. Um, you're so excited too? Yeah, and Nuggets. You do. I decided that I wanted to get a smoothie. I wanted something that was like high protein. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm, this is pretty good. Good. Mama, mm -hmm. don't try that. Careful. So I got this smoothie. Ben wanted Chipotle. So we also got some chips and salsa. Uh -huh. And every single time Ben has a burrito, I steal a, a piece, piece of steak. Of steak. That's my favorite part. And Addie's just munching on everything that everybody has. And you're probably gonna have daddy's because this is spicy. Uh -huh. You want your water? And we got Addy this hydro flask for Christmas. Well, Ella has pink and Avi has orange. Uh huh. Those are the only other color, right? Or blue, I think. And we oh, yeah. Green. Now we just be eating. Oh, I guess you should explain the story of what happened, what we were talking about when I first opened the camera. The area that we're in right now is like very crowded like the parking lot is extremely crowded so they have like an overflow parking lot over here it's like a dirt lot i didn't want to just like mess with the is parking over there no he's right here right there's a guy that got oh. in that car but there i didn't want to mess with that parking lot so i just came like straight here essentially got out of the truck started walking i had to like cross the street it's pretty close it's like right there Did to get, get katie's smoothie? Yeah. smoothie while i was like waiting across the street this other truck comes it's the into... exact same truck yeah it's literally just... the exact same color his is just not as cool but oh okay <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> but he comes in so like i'm already like i saw him pulling into this this lot because he was doing the same thing looking for a parking spot and I think that he was frustrated because he was there before us or no he was right behind us looking for a spot remember okay. that mm -mm. like I, I remember seeing him he was like looking around for a spot and he did a couple cir circles around the parking lot so I think he was already frustrated mm -hmm. but he pulls into this parking lot and just does a massive donut literally how close to the car like right in front of the car like he literally did a donut mm -hmm. and then ended up like with the front of his truck facing you or like facing the tr our truck and I was already out of the truck and it was like parked and everything and you guys were just sitting here It was like drifting for... around. Yeah, he did He did like a half donut and pulled around and then he pulled up right next to Katie Uh-huh and rolled down his window. So then I come like running back because I was like what is going on? I was like what is this dude? Is he mad at you or something or mad at me or something? And apparently what did he say to you? I was turned around giving them their food so I only heard him uh -huh. like drifting around this corner. So I stood or I sat back and I looked up and he was his car was facing ours. He parks and he rolls down the window and I hear him yell something. So I was, I was getting freaked out. I leaned over and I locked the car because I was so scared. I was like, what? Because he's very close. He's right there. Yeah, he's, no, he's literally right there. And then Amy goes, who just said sorry? Hey. And I was like, oh, I think that is what I heard him say. So, I see that. I come out. He gets out of the car. He's like with his girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, are you okay? 
and he didn't even respond to me. Like yeah. he acted like I wasn't there. And to be fair, I was far away. Like I had already crossed the road, and by the time I realized it, I turned around. And I started walking back. So I was like yelling, kind of. From yeah, yeah. So I don't even know if he realized that I was talking to him. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, dude, relax. And then I walked up, and then I checked on you. And what did you? You said. What did you say when I first, when you first saw me? Because you knew I wasn't coming to like I didn't have your smoothie. Oh, I just knew that you were coming up to make sure I was okay or to see what was going on. Anyways, and then I just made sure she was okay, and then walked back across the street. And as I was like walking, I was like not right behind them, but I was behind them, mm -hmm. and this his whole head was red. Like I, I I'm sure he it wasn't like a malicious thing, but I was like holy crap! Like it was just kind of like a weird situation. He I think that he didn't know that anybody was in the car. No, he definitely it's didn't. A dirt parking lot. Yeah. So he thinks that people are just you know, parking their cars and going over there to eat or something. Yeah. So he probably didn't think anybody was over here. And when he realized that I was sitting in the car, when he saw me, cause we like looked at each other, that's when yeah. he rolled down the window and was like, and, sorry. And I will say that like, I didn't know that he said sorry. Like you told me that after I had already gotten your smoothie and come back. So I didn't know he said sorry. Like, so anyways, it was just kind of a strange situation. Why? I'm going in for steak number two. We only give you so much little steaks in here. Look at me! Dang! That one's a good one.